Okay, so let's talk about distance, or sometimes it's called position versus time graphs. Graphing motion can be pretty complex at times. So first, let's just talk about what we have here. We have a graph, and I didn't label it, which is my bad, but along the Y, which is the vertical, we have our distance, which I'll put D. And then along the X, we have time, T. Okay. And then I have various different slopes. I have something going on here. But notice I have a reference point. Every motion, when you graph motion, has to be relative to a sp specific point. And so for the sake of argument, let's just call the reference point your house. Let's just, you can base your entire motion for a day depending on how far you are from your home. So let's look at A. You see A is an upward diagonal line. What that's saying is, I'm starting at a distance, a certain position away from the house. I didn't start at home, I started somewhere else, and I'm moving further and further away from home. Now, if you actually calculated the slope on that, which defines slope, we do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, it's kind of like rise over run. We'll notice that the slope is constant on that. Okay, So that means I'm moving away at a constant rate. And that's exactly what an upward diagonal means in this case. It means I'm moving further away. Then at B, if I was to calculate the slope, you'd see that it's zero because my distance is remaining exactly the same. So if my distance is remaining the same, it means I'm not moving. So if you were to find the slope, it would be zero. Now, what does the slope mean on a distance versus time graph? This is very important. On a distance versus time graph, a position versus time graph, slope, I'm going to write this in red because it's important. The slope means velocity. Slope means velocity. Now, the velocity will either be, your slope's either going to be positive or your slope's going to be negative. If you get a negative velocity, it does not mean you're slowing down. If you get a positive velocity, it does not mean you're speeding up. The positive and the negative only tells you the direction you're going. Okay, it's all about the direction you're going. Now, what's also important is you'll notice how I have on the Y a positive Y and then I have the negative Y. Okay, that's important. So, for example, let's just say everything above the positive y is east. And everything below the positive y is west. So, what this is saying for A is that I'm moving further away from the house east than at B. I stop moving for a while. Then at C, I start moving away at a constant rate again. D, I stop again. Now look at E. E is going to give you a negative velocity, a negative slope, because it's going down in this case. But all that means is, is that I'm just moving towards the west. That's all it means in this case. But you also notice how it's steep. It's steeper than all the rest. So the steeper the slope, the faster you're moving. At F you stop and then something happens at G. This is important. So at G, notice I'm heading back to your house. I'm heading back to the reference frame. Then I pass the reference frame and I keep moving. What this is saying is the following. It's like saying, hey, I got to go to two stores. I got to go to Kroger and I got to go to Bed Bath & Beyond, whatever. So at one point, Okay, Kroger is on the east side of your house, and then Bed Bath & Beyond is on the west side. So let's just pretend at A, where's my mouse at? There you go. I'm moving away from home. I'm going somewhere. I take, I'm at a stoplight. I stop. I keep going again. Okay, now I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond. Or, I'm sorry, I'm at Kroger. I'm at Kroger for a while. Then I start to head back towards Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, so I'm moving towards my home because that's the other direction. Here's a stoplight. Okay, I'm moving towards my home, towards my home, towards my home, past my house. Toward, past, now, now I'm going, now I'm in the west direction. I'm predominantly west and I'm moving, 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 moving. Now I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond. 
I stop there for a while, and then I start to head back home, direction of home, not to home, but heading towards the direction of home. I get there and I pass it and I keep going past the house. So, all you got to say, it's, it's a little weird because like here, if the line's moving up, it means I'm moving away from my house. I'm moving away from the reference point. But here, if the slope goes up, it means I'm moving towards the reference point. At this part here, it says I'm moving towards the reference point. But this downward slope says I'm moving away from my reference point. So it's, that's why these distance or position versus time graphs are a little complex. You have to really be able to read what they're saying. So again, up here in the east part, if I'm moving upward, notice it's getting further away from the reference point. I'm moving away from the reference point. But if it goes down here, notice I'm getting closer to this line. This line here on the Y, if you think of like the Y, this is your reference point. This says I'm moving closer to my reference point. But then once you get down here, it's like flip-flop. Now notice I'm moving further away from the reference point, just in the opposite direction. Here, I'm moving closer to the reference point. It's just, again, in the opposite direction. So again, anything pointing up means I'm going towards the east. Anything pointing down means I'm going towards the west. So, position versus time graph. Here are the big things. One. One. To calculate slope, you do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and on a distance versus time graph, the slope means velocity. Okay? Two, horizontal line, doesn't matter if it's on top or the bottom of the y, okay, if it's in the positive y region or the negative y region. If it's a horizontal flat, it means you're not moving. Okay. If it's going up here, okay, again, you have to look at it carefully. This means you're moving away. But then here, if it's down here and it's going up, it means you're moving towards the reference point. If the slope goes down, again, got to look at where it's at. If it's up in this quadrant, it means you're moving towards the reference point. But if it's down in this quadrant, it means you're moving away from the reference point. So be careful. Now, I didn't have any curved lines, and we're going to look at that a little bit later in another video. But this is just the beginning kind of idea of distance and versus time graphs.